Welcome back to the channel guys, hope everyone's doing well. So today I want to share with you an exciting development that's happened in the last 24 hours with MeshCore, the off-grid messaging system that we've been working on. Um, so basically what we've kind of enabled now is the ability to use a Heltec V3 as a MeshCore node. Now previously we've just been focusing on TDEX because we've got the nice GUI already done for those so it's really easy to kind of you know get this set up on TDEX but of course not everybody's got TDEX and TDEX pluses so we want to try and open this up to people testing with other devices in particular the really popular Heltec V3. So there's firmware available for the Heltec V3 now that basically turns it into a, a mesh core node. It's pretty basic, there's no nothing on the screen or anything like that. And also you do not need to use VS Code to compile your own firmware now. The firmware is available as a binary and literally you can flash it very, very easily using um, tools like this one here, like the Adafruit um, ESP tool. So basically you just you know, connect up your Heltec with a USB cable and um, you can select the USB port it's on. And then what you can do from here is select the firmware, it's not shown on this window. Basically add this onto the ESP tool, flash this with zero offset program and it's done basically. That is all you need to do to get up and running. So it's it's very, very simple, just like using a web flasher, um, which you would use for like Meshtastic or anything like that. So because there's no Android or iOS app for MeshCore at present, what we're actually doing is we're communicating with this node using a simple serial console. And it's a very simplified serial console that allows you to see node lists, send messages, send DMs, select which node you want to actually communicate with. So basically you can do all the essential stuff just by downloading one app. So the app on Android is called Serial USB Terminal. I don't think there's going to be an Apple version of this because of the way they they just don't generally let you communicate with things by by um, Serial USB. But I might be wrong, I'm not sure. So let me know in the comments if you know of a solution to get this working on iOS. So basically all you've got to do is download the Serial USB Terminal, get that set up and installed on your smartphone, connect up your freshly flashed Heltec V3 by one simple USB-C cable, plug it into the bottom of the phone and just basically launch the terminal here. Now you can see I'm already connected to this, so I'll, I'll go out of that um, to show you how you would basically set this up. So first thing you're going to want to do is just literally go into the, the settings here and you want to make sure the board rate here is 115200. That's it. That's the only settings you should have to do on this terminal. So simply just plug in your Heltec to the bottom of there of the phone and you'll see USB device detected then you can just hit this connect button here and it, you can see it says connected to CP210X device which is the Heltec and that's it you're connected so from here what you can do automatically it will start spitting out packets if it receives things from you know from the serial connection but from here you can actually just do like type in advert and it will send out an advertisement. I didn't type that quite right, did I? Um, and you can see here, advert sent zero hop, um, packet send, and then basically that's gone out as a zero hop. So you can see here, nothing's responded to it because it's it's super, super, um, super stealth mesh core. Uh, you can also use a command like help to see all of the available commands. So you've got, basically you've got name, now you can set your name, which is your node name, it will, it will default to unset. So if you type in name, and then I won't do it on this one because I've already done it, but if you type in name and then like Andy or whatever, your name of this node will be Andy, basically. Um, so that's that. You've got a clock as well. Now, this call is quite sort of dependent on clocks and I'll come on to that a bit in a, in a, in a minute, but there's a way of basically setting this clock because if you type in clock, you'll see that the clock is actually um, you know, not not correct. So I'll come into what you can do um, to, to sort that out because it is quite important that the clocks are set on mesh core. Anyway, the next thing you can do is obviously list the nodes that this particular node has received. So this is like your node list. Um, do that and you'll see basically here we are. So this is why the clocks are important because you've got, see look, 255 days from now, blah, 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 all of that. So that's why that will show that. Now you might have noticed as well, under here, I've actually got um, hotkey commands, which is really cool. When you first start this app, these will just have like numbers on one, two, three, four. You can see I've, I've just received a packet from my repeater there as well. 
Um, but basically what you can do here is you can hold one of these and then you can set a name for it and the value for it. And if you want that to just execute that command um, straight away, you can just basically hit that little send button there. Or if you don't want it to execute it, like I've got one that's um, set to like send, you can see that that just enters the word send in there and then you can sort of type your message after. Um, you can basically do that and just have it set to like insert and that's that's how you do that. So what you can do from here is you can send out you know, public message. I can say public, I can say um, hello, hit go on there and you'll see it gets sent out. Now you can see these other packets coming back here. Um, these are coming back from repeaters that are around here and um, which I've got set up. I think it's probably might be another one or two on at the moment. But if we go into our public channel on the TDEC, you'll see there, there's the message, zero hops, it's come back. I can basically say, hi there, and that will go out. And then you can actually see on here, it says public channel, flood message, zero hops, Andy TDEC, best, hi there. So I've just pushed something else here. but So it's totally usable. You can use this to send messages backwards and forwards. So to do DMs with this, what you've got to do is you've got to type in two, and then you can type in the start of my TDEC. So it starts off with the word Andy, and then you can basically do that. So hit two Andy, and it says recipient Andy TDEC best now selected. So because it's, it works on like a kind of prefix, so you don't have to type the whole name in, you can just type the first few letters in there, which is really cool. Um, so now this is set up to send a message to me, you can just basically do this, send um, hi DM from here, and hit go on that. Got a round trip, got ack. Don't know why this hasn't made a sound, but we should see Andy Helltech V3 here with a direct message from me. So this is a proper direct message where the route has been worked out. Um, it says zero hops from here to here. So it's just literally going from the Helltech to the T-Deck. And that is basically um, working absolutely fine. So I can I can send a message back, say, um, yes, working. And that will just come through onto the, onto there like that. So, you know, you will see things like um, the RSS, RSSIs and the SNR. There's going to be two firmwares of this available, one with debug enabled, so you can see all these RSSIs. I think that's quite important, really, because people want to see RSSIs and signal to noise, but you might not want to see all the packet information. If you turn that off, it will just be very simple. It will just be a bit more clean um, to read. But yeah, you can see here, it says message from Andy T that best, yes, working. Absolutely brilliant. Now, the cool thing about this, because the T-Deck has got a GPS, you can actually sync the clock. So this is a DM, just a normal DM. And if you write clock sync, and this is a DM obviously going directly to this Helltech, you'll see here, it says clock sync, okay, clock set, and it's received the packet and it's set the clock. So now when you type in, if you type in clock, it will actually say the correct time and the correct date. So that's really cool. Clocks are, are a big thing with mesh coils, I say, so we need to make sure you know things get um, get set. There's probably going to be a better way of doing this going forward, but um, you know it's difficult when things haven't got their own real time clock built in. So now we've got the clock set, we can hit list, and you'll see here my two stations here. Hartford says three minutes ago last heard. Um, Andy T that best 39 minutes ago. So the other ones here still say, you know, wild times, but that's because those stations themselves haven't got a GPS or haven't got a time uh, clock built in. So really that is all there is to it, guys. It's very, very simple. It's the early implementation of a Helltech V3 node on MeshCore. If you want to try it out, just go ahead. The firmware is available on Discord. I'll leave links to the firmware actually in the description so you won't even have to go into Discord and, and find those. Um, so they'll be available and you just literally flash it onto these a Helltech V3 devices, which you've probably got loads of if you're interested in this um, stuff or if you've used MeshTastic before. Um, and yeah, you can just literally get going straight away. The easiest thing probably is going to be to just test out the public messaging. So, you know, just firing this up, set your name, um, basically just do a public message there, public, and just go hi, and then 
you'll see that go out. You'll see if you are actually getting a response from anywhere when you do that, because you'll see this received packet here. So you could potentially just, you know, connect this to your MeshTastic antenna or whatever you're using and just see if anything else is out there that's going to pick you up. And if you do find that something else picks you up, you'll see a received line basically on uh, after you've sent. So that's a good way of finding out if you've actually kind of got, um, if there's a repeater nearby or, or, or that sort of thing. Um, in fact, what we've been doing over here is using this feature to, to effectively line up antennas. So you can kind of send a packet out and see what you know comes back on the RSSI and SNR and then move your antenna, do it again, and then hopefully you'll get a better signal by angling your antenna in a different um, different place. More for directional antennas, that is. But yeah, so there you go, guys. That is that is it. One other thing, like every other mesh core client, the Helltech V3 will ad advertise itself on the across the entire mesh um, when you first turn on the device. So that's when you would get put into a discovery list um, out there. But we don't advertise all the time. Um, you know, this advert is only local. You don't have a, a flooded advertise um, packet because that just creates a lot of mess um, on the mesh and there's no need for it. So, yeah, that is how it works. So, guys, yeah, hopefully I'll start receiving some public messages from you guys and um, you can get to test this out uh, with the V3s. Um, if you want the full functionality, then at the moment the T-Deck is kind of the only way to do it because the group messaging is so much better than the public messaging. Um, public messaging is really basic. There's no way of you knowing that your messages have actually hit um, anyone. So, <laughs> so, and that's just how it is. It's the same with Meshtastic. But yeah, right now, if you use a T-Deck, you'll have access to groups and that is just an extremely good feature uh, for making sure you always get the message. And if you miss a message and then you sign in later, you'll get the messages come through then. Anyway, guys, hope you found this one useful. Hope to see you on MeshCore. And um, yeah, get your Helltech V3 flashed. And I'll see you on there.